Would you like to scrape lists of unlimited business names, addresses, phone numbers, websites, emails, and social media handles legally for free? Well, you apparently can according to Foursquare's public sample data I just showed you, found under their Places API documentation as an example of what their API can do. So the Foursquare API looks extremely enterprisey and expensive, which immediately drew me away. However, if you go to sign up here under Developer Console, you can log in with the regular Foursquare credentials and they give you $200 worth of credits every month for free here on the API. I already scraped a bunch of data and barely used a dollar. You'll specifically want to check out this place search endpoint. I'll put a link in the description. You can access it on your own using your own custom Python or JavaScript code. But in the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how using our freemium service, you can immediately download all this data from the Foursquare API into bulk CSV files, either for free or for only $49.99 a month. To follow along here, check out the link in the description to create a free Steve C Data account. Then navigate to the Foursquare app and look for the places search endpoint. You'll see a screen that looks like this. To get your Foursquare API key, click this link to the developer console. You'll need to click generate API key here, then save it in a safe space like a password manager. Paste it in when prompted here and you'll see it populate under this request preview. Everything is securely blacked out for your security. To localize search results, you can provide coordinates or location. I suggest using location to start with. I'll go over coordinates towards the end of the video. What's great, you can just type in any plain old location like a city or an area and Foursquare will automatically geocode that for you so you don't need to worry about that step. Then for query, type in any type of business name, category, etc. Probably want to look for maybe like plumber, barber, electrician, depending on who you're trying to find leads for. Here under fields, we can select exactly what data we want returned from the API. So there's a lot of documentation here under response fields. So the core fields that are returned by default aren't very interesting. They'll give you like the Foursquare ID, name of the business, as well as the basic location in case you want to mail them something, categories which could be useful if you're building a directory, etc. What you probably really want though are the details over here under POI rich data. So this costs a little bit more credits from the API, but it's not too bad. So you can see you can get things like phone number, email address, as well as website, social media handles. This will be Facebook ID, Instagram, or Twitter handle. And there are a few other things you may be less interested in, like if they're verified, hours of operation, popular hours, statistics, popularity overall. Menu may be interesting. I've seen a lot of people look for menu items. You can try getting this through their API. And there's a lot of other things here. I don't suggest putting all of these in, otherwise the output will be very confusing. However, according to their pricing, it seems that it doesn't matter how many of those rich fields you put in. If you just put in one, it counts as a rich field uh, places search credit from what I've seen. And from their pricing page here, you can make about 30,000 requests per month for free using that $200 credit. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you only want the basic information, you only get about 10,000 more. You can see if I put this all the way down, I can slide up the basic places search to about 40,000 requests before I hit the $200 credit I get for free every month. So it really makes sense to use the rich POI data. And like I said, it seems that if you just put in one field, you may as well put in as many as you need. They don't charge per field or per how many results you get back. It's on a per request basis at the time of this video. So I always suggest using the maximum of results per request, which is 50 at the time of this filming. But always double check their pricing before you do this. I don't want you wasting credits. So in our platform, we default to a mix of the core fields as well as the basic contact fields you probably want for lead generation. But you can always add your own here, like put in popularity if you want, or override and mix and match these complete lists. Do whatever you want here based on exactly which fields you want back for your own purposes. And again, I suggest leaving this alone at 50. They don't charge you if you do one or 50. It seems to cost the same in requests. Over on the right side, you can get a preview of the API call we're going to make. So again, you're free to code this using your own tools, or if you want to execute it with our service, we'll auto magically collect the JSON for you and parse it into a downloadable CSV file. So here I can quickly just download all this data and put it into a CRM. I'll get the business name as well as the popularity score we added on earlier, as well as the contact information like the business website, phone number, and the email which is hiding all the way on the other end of the spreadsheet for some reason. Not to mention very detailed location data about where the business is. And here is that coveted email address as well as the Facebook ID. You can see we also get things like Instagram handles as well as Twitter handles. Now the coverage looks pretty decent. Maybe I'd say between 50 to 60%. I didn't check exactly, but this isn't bad for practically being free for a lot of requests we can use every month from their API. So you can download this as a CSV file. If you have a free version, it's limited to 10 rows daily. 
or if you have the basic version at $49.99 a month, you can get as much as you want, or you're only limited by the Foursquare API usage. And there's some more collections here. You can keep downloading these. For example, this is denormalized by category. Maybe if you're building a directory of businesses, this could be useful. And you'll see even more of these collections depending exactly on which fields you entered over here. And we can also keep doing this. Like if you wanna collect a bunch of businesses in different cities, maybe you're a social media marketing agency and you specialize in bars and restaurants, you may wanna reach out to all these email addresses and promote them to your services. Just please don't spam and do some basic pre-qualification and make sure they'd be somewhat interested in your offer. And you can see I can keep doing this. Now I just went to Los Angeles and I got 50 bars and restaurants with email addresses I can contact. And you can also keep doing this with different search queries. Like I said, they have a very free text friendly search field. So you can put in any type of search query you want for a business. You can even get very specific. Foursquare seems to have a very good matching engine under the hood, very similar to Google, and just keep getting all these emails for all these different business types you may want to reach out to. So the downside here is you're just gonna end up with a bunch of CSV files and it can get a little bit cumbersome, which is why I'm here to upsell you. So we offer this workflow feature here that will automatically combine all these searches for you into one single CSV file. So this costs 99 USD a month, but it may be worth it if you wanna scrape a lot of data. It works very similarly. I put in my API key, but now I can actually put in a list, one per line of cities. So I do Las Vegas, New York, and I can also put in a combination of different types of search queries. So I can do bar and liquor store if I really wanna double down on alcoholic social media marketing. So now I'm gonna do the cross products. I'm gonna do four requests between Las Vegas, New York, and bar and liquor store for a combination of four. This can add up very quickly, so be careful as to how many requests you make and do not exceed your free quota on Foursquare. We are not responsible for that. Here again, you can customize the fields, but I'm just gonna use the defaults because they seem pretty useful. Don't worry about the split execution thing for now. If you need help, contact our support on the bottom right using our chat widget. So this workflow only took about a minute since it was only four requests of about 50 results each. So now I have a single spreadsheet with all 200 results and all these emails combined together. So there's probably about 100 emails I got for bars and liquor stores in New York and Las Vegas. Now it's not totally comprehensive in each city. There's gonna be more of 50 of each of these in each type of city. But if you just want some quick results of phone numbers, websites, and emails, this may be helpful as it's very simple to just put in city names and search queries. But let's say you're physically based in New York and you wanna get a comprehensive list of bars. Now we can use this more advanced query on coordinates. So to get the most results possible, we need to build a latitude longitude search grid because Foursquare doesn't offer pagination much like Google Maps. So we can use this places search here to build a bounding box of our target city. So this is getting a little bit complicated, just follow the instructions, but we need to get our Google Maps API key. So get your key here, put it in, and then under query, we put in any city name we want, like here I'm gonna use Las Vegas as an example. And then Google Maps will give us two coordinate pairs that will define the bounding box of the city. Specifically, we have the bottom left and top right coordinates over here. Once we have those four numbers, go back to this help article here and then scroll down to section two under build a latitude longitude search grid. Right click on the page and hit inspect to open developer tools and click on console, or you can use any JavaScript playground you want. Copy this code here, then paste it into the console. Next, we need to take those four numbers we saw earlier from Google and then just copy and paste them in the same order into that script. So take this value and then paste it in here where it says paste me, check out the comments if you need help. Uh, so you're just leaving the grid length alone for now at three, but if you wanna get more results, you can try changing this to 10. Check out the article for more information on that. Anyway, leaving a three by three grid gives us nine search coordinates. Then I come here to the workflow and plug in this coordinate grid here. Now I'm gonna make nine requests of 50 each. I am gonna get some overlap, but I'm gonna be able to span more requests and get more fine grained data. So I'll be able to get more than 50 bars in Las Vegas, because I definitely know there's a lot more than those. Leave this location field blank. The API will only work with one or the other. Then query, I'm gonna put in bar. You can put in whatever business you want. Fields, I'm gonna leave alone. Same with uh, limits, we only get 50, and then execute the workflow. It only took about two minutes to run, so I did nine requests of 50 results each. So I have a single CSV now with 450 rows I can download. I did mention there will be duplicates, so you want to check out this FSQ underscore ID column and then deduplicate on that, either in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever you're using. So there should be a deduplicate option and then just check to make sure you only deduplicate on that column. I hate Excel for Mac, they barely make this usable at all. So here you just select that column and I think this should be right found about 170 something duplicates, and we have about 273 unique rows remain. So that's a lot more than the original 50 we got. And if we make that coordinate search grid like 10 or something, we could probably get even more, but we'd end up using a lot more requests. So that trade-off is up to you based on how much data you wanna get back for a single city. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment or use our live support chat widget on our website if you need help with this. I know it can get a little bit complicated, but hopefully I showed you a legal way to scrape email addresses for businesses that doesn't involve using sketchy companies scraping Instagram overseas. Thanks for watching and happy scraping.